maybe you want to cut this out. I mean, I hate it when, you, when you're watching a tutorial and they only take the easy way out and then you go to try it in real life and it doesn't work. So let's go to our, uh, our auto trace here. And I'll set the settings back to what they were. And I'll, sh and I'll go through it with you. So if we start on the alpha here with our preview, it's going to just do the whole entire thing because the alpha of this picture is the whole entire um, whole entire picture. So we can come down to luminance real quick and you see that it gets a decent amount it's probably gonna catch all the mayonnaise and everything like that and all the bright parts of the lettuce so let's try on one of the color channels here we'll see which one's better and um, I saw that blue was the mo the best out of all of them so what you want to do is mess with this threshold here and just go up incrementally don't hit enter because then it will hit OK. So just go inter incrementally up. And I found that this 70% was a pretty decent way to go, uh, get around it. So we have the whole thing outlined here. And we can hit OK. Now we got to come in and delete everything that's in the middle that we don't want. You can just click on a point hit delete and then hit delete again and it'll delete the whole thing. I'll just try to do this real quick. Oh, just deleted everything. Didn't mean to do that. This is probably a little faster than trying to mask out the whole entire thing on your own. But as you can see, it's probably not perfect, but it's quick. All right, here we go. Now, if we come down to our masks, and there is an extra mask, that's the one that's around the outside. I can delete that one. set this to add and now you have your McChicken here cut out see how it looks I mean it's got a little bit around the edges and then you can apply the mat choker to it but there you go that's it's already cut out cut out pretty much for you very handy tool and you can let's put on the mat choker real quick mat mat choker I need to be zoomed in when I do this so I can see what the what the heck's going on. And actually the default settings are pretty decent. Let's back it off a little and see what happens. Right about there. You don't want to cut in too much. And there you go, you have your McChicken. Uh, something else that I like to do sometimes with the matte choker is you can put a little halo around around your uh, image. So if I add a lot of geometric softness and a lot of gray level softness, you get like a little halo around the edge of your uh, image and it looks like it's glowing and it gives it more of a like an awe kind of effect like like it's heavenly I guess so a lot of times companies will do that and it makes it look like it's a, like a heavenly sandwich I guess so I would say that's that's it for auto trace I showed you how to use it on easy objects hard objects and medium so use that next time you're um, next time you gotta mask stuff out to get it done really quick it's uh, good to know how to mask regularly in, in case this doesn't work. I mean, a lot of times you're going to get something and it's not going to work really well. So be sure you know how to mask 
properly first and then master the auto trace. So I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. I think this is a really awesome tool. You guys should use it. See you later.